of the NBA. downtown Phoenix on a bright and sunny day as we come to you from Arizona. Hi everyone, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Kevin Harlan here alongside Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. DA David Aldridge is on our sideline. DA, take it away. Thank you very much, Kevin. As Coach Monty Williams tells it of Devin Booker, He's a bucket. Devin can score on many levels. Post up, mid range, catch and shoot, off the dribble. More than anything, he'll take the wins over stats every time. And that's what I love about him. He's just scratching the surface. Kevin? He sure is, David. Great report. Thanks. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. In the backcourt, it's Ball and Levine. Williams is out there with DeRozan. And it's Vucevic in at the center position. And for Phoenix, up it forward, they'll have Bridges and Crowder. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. And it's Aiton in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Some of the best in the game go at it here tonight, Chris. What an incredible guard matchup we have here in this one. There are some of the all-time greats playing at the guard spot these days. I mean, look, this is going to be a fun matchup to watch. Now here's Paul. Over ball. Drops it in from 14 feet away. I've heard CP3 called the monster of the mid-range. That shot is his bread and butter. Left side, ball. Lock at six. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Levine. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Booker against Vucevic. And Booker kicks to Paul. Over Levine. The offensive rebound. Here's Ayton. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. A towering presence on the offensive glass. Ayton uses his height well to keep possessions alive. DeRozan scanning the floor. And the rejection by Eaton. DeRozan against Bridges. Pass to Eaton. Outside Crowder. The 10 footer. Bucket is good. Nice work offensively, and Crowder caps it off inside. Bulls still looking like they're getting going. Still without a basket in the game. Rejected by Booker. Outer dishes to Paul. He feeds it to Ayton. Over Williams. And Ayton, the bucket on the assist by Paul. Ayton's got his second bucket of the game to go. They've come out with guns a blazing. Four for five from the field. They've got the D really. DeRozan against Bridges. And the Bulls with another miss. His interior scoring is one of the things that drives their offense. Don't expect him to miss many at all. And with Chris Paul, he makes this team work. Gets the most out of his teammates. And has done that wherever he's played. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. As you said, Paul's teams often overachieve in the standings. People still underestimate his impact. Sets up and improves his guys as well as anyone. And he's the engine to this whole operation.
That one is off. And, you know, Booker might have been a volume shooter, at least early in his career, but now he's a legit number one option for an offense. And he sinks the second. And, Craig, the efficiency for Booker has grown over the years. And no longer forcing shots. Takes what's available to him. And I believe he can be the leading scorer on a championship caliber team. And now the first time out called here for the Bulls. You know, trying to stem the tide here. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup and, and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Ball feeling it out a bit. To the left side wing. To end the run. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Ayton's got four rebounds now tonight. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. On the wing, DeRozan. Defended by Booker. Ball, the pass to DeRozan. Over Booker. That one off the back iron and out. Uh, golden opportunity that he can't make good on. Maybe a wake-up call to the D, though. They can't leave him alone like that. Now, here's Ayton. Banked in off the glass. Ayton's got six points. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Bulls trail by 11. And here is Ball. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And Ball slams it in. A uh, point guard who can dunk it. Ball is a rarity in more ways than one. Ball outside. In the corner, it's Bridges. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Ball, the pass to Levine. Good work defensively by Crowder. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now here's Booker over Levine. No good from Booker. Levine up top, defended by Booker. Crowder against Ball. No good on that one. Bridges with some nice defense. Booker against Levine. And Levine with the block. And when you have a vertical like Levine's, you're always a threat to get your hand on the ball when you contest. Here's ball. Levine feeling it out a bit. He's just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. But this is the confidence Levine has in himself. I mean, he knows he has the touch to score inside. And Booker kicks to Paul. It's good. Paul's got his second best. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Pass to Vucevic. Back to DeRozan. Six on the shot clock. Over Ayton. And it's DeRozan missing. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. Paul finds Booker. Levine with the rebound. And here's Levine who brings it up for Chicago. A 12-point game. 
ball no good. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Paul passes to Bridges. Here's Ayton. Booker in the corner. Shoots over Bucinic. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touched by Bucinic. Johnson, he's checked in for Phoenix. And the Bulls making a change here as well. White's checked in. Here's Paul. Shoots over ball. DeMar DeRozan grabs the board. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Levine, and Levine throws it down. Oh, he makes it look all too easy. Levine, I mean, he's someone you can't allow to get this kind of position. Paul passes to Crowder. Shoots over DeRozan. They get it back. The second chance effort. Tries it again. Nice D from DeRozan. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now here's Vucevic. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. DeRozan's shot is off. He's disappeared this quarter. He can't get anything to drop. That's not going to help him get out of the hole. Ayton kicks to Paul. Shot clock at five. From 13. And no good. And the Bulls going the other way now. DeRozan against Ayton. Outside Levine. The shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. Levine's got it back down to single digits for the Bulls. And the Suns call their first time out of the game. And at times, it just feels like DeRozan is still underappreciated. Receives a lot of criticism for what he doesn't do and had not enough credit for what he does. Phoenix making some changes. JaVale McGee's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Torrey Craig comes in for Crowder. And it's Payne in for Chris Paul. The Bulls also changing it up. Green, he's checked in for Zach Levine. And it's Alex Caruso in for Lonzo Ball. Now here's Johnson. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. McGee's shot is off. And DeRozan's talked about using negative press to his advantage. You know, he said, you have to be able to take criticism if you want to be great. Use the negative energy to become something more than you thought you could be. Here's Craig. And there's the pass to Johnson. Phoenix, no good that time either. A uh, uh, team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy. And theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. So defense just handed White that assist. I mean, he smartly feeds a wide open shooter. Johnson outside. Back to Payne. Pass to McGee. Over Green. McGee's shot is off. Bulls trail by six. Passes to Caruso. DeRozan with it. It's White on the wing. Shoots over McGee. Gets the front of the rim and out. Suns leading by six. Bridges outside. He kicks it to paint. Pass to McGee. Shoots over White. 
Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Bulls. Right the pass to Vucevic. The jump hook. Phoenix grabs the miss. We've got 108 left in the first quarter. Bridges misses. Bulls trail by six. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Now here's Payne. No points in the game yet for him. And the pass to McGee. 43 seconds left here in the opening quarter. From deep, Johnson. Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. White, wide open. He fights. Misses the three. Suns leading by four. Now, Craig. Over Green. Phoenix, no good that time either. And the Bulls with possession. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Here's Caruso. Here's Vucevic. Excellent D that time there from McGee. That'll do it for the first quarter. Some grinded out basketball so far. Suns ahead. They're up by four. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. And regarded as one of the best leaders in the game today, Chris Paul opening about how his team works together. With anything, uh, whether it's business, work, relationships, whatever, it's communication. And I think that's something that we're doing an amazing job of right now. And that's communicating, talking through things, and making sure even when it gets tough that we continue to communicate. And with his younger team, it's got to be easier for Chris Paul to lead as that elder statesman. Yeah, at times in the past, veteran teammates didn't appreciate his constant input. Credit these younger guys, though, for soaking it in. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And from what we've seen, guys from Phoenix, what do you guys see? Well, when you control the glass, you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. They've been quicker to the ball, showing great anticipation and terrific hustle. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. They've got Vucevic. White is out there with Green. Then there's Dosumu, and it's Caruso in at the one spot. And it's Shamit missing. Chicago trailing here. Down low, Vucevic, and Vucevic throws it down and using every bit of that large frame for the exclamation point. Vucevic, a force around the rim. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, the league remains in love with three-pointers, but DeMar DeRozan remains true to his game. He says, if I see 100 people walking left, that doesn't mean I'm going to do the same. I see this clear path and want to stay right. Shooting threes, I feel like I'm settling. Whereas I think any time I drive, I'm going to score or get fouled. Kevin, different strokes, but different folks. Yeah, but D.A., I love that strategy. Thanks for that story. Now here's Payne. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's McGee. And it's White with the rebound. For Chicago, they've gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Well, time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Green's got the game tied up here for Chicago. For Phoenix, they've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Payne up top, guarded by Green. Payne kicks to Shamit. Here's McGee. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Let's see, this is why 
JaVale McGee is out here. When he hustles like this, his coaches and teammates notice it. Caruso, the pass to White. Shoots over to Shamit. And it's White missing. El Phoenix shooting a low, low 30% right now. An ugly offensive performance. Shamit finds Payne. Five on the clock. And that one goes long. The Bulls have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Shamit the pass to Payne. He dishes it to McGee. And it's McGee with the jam. Well, that's just too easy for me. I mean, the minute he establishes position in this area, the defense is done. Pass to Caruso. It's over Payne. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Johnson right side. Passes it to Shamit. Here's Payne. That's in. And he found his range with that one. Now one for two. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. To the middle. Here's Green. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. And Chris with the Fab Five in Michigan and that powerhouse Kings team with so much shooting and passing. How special was it to shape the way the game is played now? It's so special to see vestiges of our style still in the game. I mean, in Michigan, not only did we influence the game with fast break, uh, 94 feet of defense, but, you know, we also changed the expectation saying, hey, it doesn't matter, you know, what you think of me. I can go out there with hard work and earn my spot and change the expectation of the game. As far as Sacramento, man, it, it's just so awesome that, you know, we left our game in the NBA. What do I mean by that? So many teams now play that offensive style that we had uh, at Sacramento, and you need a few keys to do that. You need a great player. You need great passers. You need unselfish guys, and you need a family atmosphere in the locker room. We have it all. Here's Booker. Vucevic with the block. Well-timed by Vucevic. Not a center who piles up blocks, but this guy picks his spots. Kick out to Levine. That's in, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. If you're playing like Chris Paul, you better have your hands ready. Uh, if you're open, he'll find you, or you're going to get hit in the head. Dosunmu, the pass to Levine. And the jam by Levine. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Pass to Booker. Back to Paul. Levine with the rebound. And here's Levine who brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Trailing by two. Vucevic with it. Now guarded by Booker. Vucevic dishes to Levine. The shot goes down and it gets this game back to even. Levine's got six here in this quarter. Showing off the entire arsenal right now. Levine so outstanding and scoring in a multitude of ways. Booker draws the double. Paul outside. And it's off from three-point range. Now when Lonzo Ball entered the league in 2017, Greg, there were major questions about his shooting. And he struggled, of course, during his rookie year. Yeah, and, and shooting 30% from deep and under 50% at the line. But credit to Lonzo. He's put major work into his stroke, getting that free throw percentage to over 75% during his fourth year in the league. And his three-point numbers, they've also improved greatly. Bridges, he's checked in for Landry Shamit. The Suns shooting 38% in the second quarter. Offensively, they look a little bit confused. Phoenix calls timeout. 
as the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. And here are the Suns now. And Paul with the block. Solid shot blocker at his position. Ball's length allows him to make a difference on this end. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Now here's Vucevic. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Booker outside. The jumper from the free throw line is good. And the Suns lead by two. The, the quick, clean shot there from Booker. Strong mechanics give him great accuracy. Ball, the pass to Levine. Now, here's Dosumu. And the rejection by Eaton. Outside, Crowder. Bridges outside. Kicks it to Paul. Shot clock at six. Releases from 15. Offensive rebound. Here's Hayton. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Just terrific at executing in the paint. Hayton has a nice array of shots to choose from. The pass the ball. And here is Dosumu. Here's Levine. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Paul. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Dead eye pull up jumper. Look how. Paul makes a quick decision. That's pretty much unguardable. Here's Levine. Bridges with the board. Bridges has got four rebounds now tonight. He kicks it to Booker. Good work there as it goes. And playing with a lot of fire now. They had a tough start in that first quarter. Didn't shoot it well, but didn't let that discourage them. And now they're showing what they can do offensively. Levine can't hit. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing under control. So crafty and solid. Paul's been successful for many years at challenging the heart of your defense. Chicago calls timeout. And look at Chris Paul. What a contribution. He's been a force inside. If they don't commit more bodies down low, he's going to keep destroying them in the paint. DeMar DeRozan. He's checked in for Chicago. Here's Ball. That one drops, and he's now two for five. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Ball outside. And it's Phoenix scoring again. Another one for Paul. I mean, he may have a pass for his mindset, but he's capable of filling it up fast. Now, here's Ball. Outside, Levine. Just five on the clock. 
Step back shot. That one's not going to go. The Suns go the other way with it. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Takes it out to Booker. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got five assists in the game. Bulls trail by 11. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Levine inside the three-point line. Phoenix grabs the miss. Crowder's got four rebounds in this game. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Booker the pass to Ayton. Bridges inside. Working on Williams. Just two to shoot. Booker draws the double. Offline with the baseline jumper. This shot's just, it's not there right now. With this team leading, perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Ball, no good. On offense, here are the Suns. They're on a 17-6 run. And there's Booker on the assist from Bridges. Booker's got the lead up to 14 now for the Suns. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Ball, the bounce pass. There's Levine. That shot off the mark. Some solid defense from Aiton. Here's Bridges. Here he goes. I tell you, he's playing the game with pure excitement right now. He capped off that dunk with some serious hang time on the rim. Inside. Here's Vucevic. And the rejection by Aiton. And, and using that wide reach to reject shots. Aiton can't afford to throw up weak stuff around the big fella. A big time effort for Chris Paul providing a lot of energy for the Phoenix Suns. Willing his team to a successful quarter performance. He seemed to stop at nothing to push the momentum. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Billy. I heard you tell the guys to take it to them and play with more physicality offensively. What did you mean? Well, just I think when we're getting the ball inside around the basket, at times we got to go up a little bit stronger and play through the contact and go to the rim. Tough sledding in there, but you got to get there. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Back to you. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. For the Suns, the first quarter was pretty even. They had a four-point advantage at the end of the period. They just exploded in the second quarter, grabbing the momentum and running with it. Basket after basket, and they played stingy defense. Now they've got a halftime lead that's going to be very difficult to erase. Kenny, let's start with you. What did you think about the Suns? They're winning the effort battle so far. And I'm talking about the offensive rebound. They've got a ton of second-chance opportunities. They are just going at it. I mean, physically outmanning them. And their team is playing great. And Shaq, what do you think about Chicago? To be honest, them getting killed on the glasses like this is a little embarrassing. Showing no physicality, a lack of heart. This is when fans start to feel let down. Me too. When the team doesn't seem to care as much as the other team. with the second half upon us we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be you look at Zach Levine he's really been playing well no problems fighting his way to the rim in this one a lot of points in close yeah slicing through the gaps in the defense I mean getting many of his buckets in the paint Bulls trail by 16, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. On Phoenix, looking who they've got on the floor. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. Aiton is the pivot, and Crowder slides in at the four. And it's Bridges in at the small forward. Booker finds Bridges. Bridges. 
And that one is off. Nice D from Williams. And Chicago shooting at 36 percent on the night. They've got to step it up offensively. Goes back up. And even after two offensive rebounds they just can't get the lid off. Here's Crowder drives to the hoop. That one misses. And the Bulls going the other way now. Booker against DeRozan. Some solid defense from Aiton. I don't know what they drew up at halftime, but it ain't worth 0 for 4 to start the half. Slow to get warm after the break. 0 for 3 now. Maybe they need an early timeout. It's just to try to settle things down. And Patrick Williams, the fourth pick of that 2020 draft, a bit of a surprise when he was taken. Most mock drafts had him around the top 10 spot. His stock rose very late in the process. And then the Bulls fell in love. The shot by Williams, no good. Ouch. Five shots without a make. That's a really ragged start coming out of halftime. Bulls trail by 16. Outside DeRozan. Teardrop shot. He takes it up and lays it in. And finally, someone scores. Yeah, this is low output for both teams. This is ugly. The defense is having their way so far. Kicks it out to Paul. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. And the wide open shot from Crowder. Phoenix, no good that time either. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Bulls trail by 14. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Ball kicks to Levine with the drive. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Levine's got 18 points. Wow, the quickness Levine possesses is just fantastic. At times, he overwhelms you with it on these drives inside. Here's Booker. A shot. No good. Nice D from Levine. Williams trying to break free. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It goes on Devin Booker. But the athleticism of Levine, it makes him a hard guy to cover. I mean, he, he loves getting the contact. Chicago shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. Free throw good, Levine. And, Kevin, you tend to forget this about Levine. I mean, he's still so young. You feel like... He's been in the league forever. JaVale McGee's checked in for the Suns. Oh, you can get spoiled watching him at the line. I mean, you just expect him to make every one, every time. Phoenix calls timeout. You know, Greg, I was just thinking about Zach Levine and his age. He's just now in his mid to late 20s. And he's grown so much since that rookie year. Excited to see what numbers he can put up as he gets ready to enter into his prime. Pass to Bridges. Booker outside. Booker draws the double. Paul, no one around him. Hands it from downtown. 15 points in the game. And the three-point shots become one of Paul's favorites. Consistent at knocking it down. Ball dishes to Levine. Going inside. And he converts the layup. Levine's got 22. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Booker against Levine. And the shot is good. And the Suns lead by 13. Excellent footwork there. Booker so tricky on the drive. He can't predict what he's going to do. Outside DeRozan. 
He takes it in, and DeRozan throws it down. Uh, and one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. A nice shot by Booker. This is a guy who once scored 70 points in a game. Booker doesn't take much for him to start percolating. Ball, the pass to Levine. Driving inside. He can't get that one to fall. Good D by Booker. Phoenix leading by 13 to the paint. Here's Crowder. The putback. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. McGee's got six. This is where McGee's coaches and teammates want him to shoot from. They know he can do damage in there with his hops. Ball gets to Vucevic. McGee with the block. When we mentioned McGee's outstanding length, well, there, you saw what he did. He used that to swap the shot. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Vucevic dishes to Levine. The shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. Vucevic has got three assists now in this one. Paul passes to Booker. Paul against Ball. Paul kicks to Booker. Six to shoot. Throws it up high. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And here are the Bulls now. 17-point game. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Yeah, he needs to tell his guys to just box out with some energy. That, that's basic basketball. They've been lazy on the backboard and have allowed way too many second-chance points. So for the Suns, Johnson comes in for Crowder, and it's Payne in for Chris Paul. Green, he's checked in for Chicago. Dosumu comes in for Williams. Passes it to Green. High arcing shot. And here's Payne. Pass to McGee. It's stolen by Green. And now Ball pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And finished off by DeRozan. How about the athleticism from DeRozan? Taking off and then bringing the alley-oop thundering down. McGee finds Booker. To the inside. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. This system is set up perfectly for him today. I mean, it's allowing him to find a lot of good shots. Now the pass to Dosunga. McGee with the block. And even three-on-three -three break. Here's Booker. Levine with the rebound. Levine's got six rebounds in the game. Over Booker. Gets it to fall from the right block. Levine's got ten points in just the second half. A decent jump shooter. I mean, you can't afford to give Levine these types of looks. Feeds it to Booker. Suns moving the ball around. Bridges misses. He's done almost no damage from three-point range in this game. No threes in this half, and only one in the first. DeRozan against Booker. Bulls trail by 15. In the corner, it's Levine. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. Levine's got 28 points for the game. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. A perfect position to grab the rebound. Gets underneath, boxes out, and pulls it down. Here's DeRozan. It's hauled in by the Suns. Bridges has got five rebounds tonight. Payne passes to Booker. Now McGee. Over ball. 
And again, it's the Suns missing. Lays it up and banks it in. Ball's got six. Able to keep his balance even while getting hit. I mean, ball absorbs contact very well. Now here's Payne. He's covered by Ball. Up again. It's good on the putback. And the Suns lead by 13. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Inside, here's Dosunmu. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Dosunmu's got his second basket of the game. Yeah, capable of doing many things well. Levine has a good sense of when his guys roll. Payne looking around. Kicks it to Bridges. Clock at four. Here's McGee. And it's Chicago with the rebound. And here we go. Fast break. Levine's got it. Deep two from Ball. Another one falls for Chicago. This is the mindset Ball has. If you're not going to guard him closely, he'll torch you off the pad. Booker outside. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And it's McGee with the jam. And you see why McGee's teammates lob it up his way? Because they know he can go up and get it. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. They trail by 11. 105 left in the third. Green finds Levine on the wing. Green just five to shoot. Back to Ball. It's over Payne. Booker pulls it in. Booker's got rebound number eight now on the night. Into the lane. Rebound by the Bulls. DeRozan's got seven rebounds in the game. Again, ball missing. Phoenix leading by 11. Pass to McGee. Dishes it to Payne. 24 seconds left to play in the third. McGee trying to break free. Payne can't hit. Chicago's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Here's Levine. Yep, that one goes in there. Levine's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Bulls. He's so aggressive at that end of the floor, and that's a quality all great scores have. And a deep three from Booker. Misses there. And so it's the Phoenix Suns in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. We come back right after this. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Phoenix leading by nine. So with Vucevic on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. Wright and Levine on the wing. DeRozan out there with Green. And it's Caruso in at the point. Takes the 13-footer and misses it off the right side of the rim. The Bulls shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. Bulls moving the ball around. Passes it to DeRozan. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And that's an aggressive take there by DeRozan. And no doubt the coaches will appreciate his ability to attack the defense. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for Phoenix? All those block shots. That's a clear indicator of the great D they've been playing. Not giving them an inch of space out there. And how about the work they're doing also on the offensive glass? Creating those extra opportunities has been critical. That's good from DeMar DeRozan. And guys, DeMar DeRozan has really come into his own on the court. It's been great to see him realize that potential and become the player a lot of guys knew 
he could be. And Phoenix making a change here. Paul's checked in. Vucevic checked in for the Bulls. Suns leading by seven. Shamit with it. Pass to Paul. Johnson in the corner. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Johnson's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Johnson against DeRozan. Over Johnson. That one a little long. Phoenix has gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy baskets like this. Lujovic finds White. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, White's a talented player, but very streaky. You never know who's going to show up. Chris, as you said, with White, he can make 10 in a row and then miss the next 15. But well, Kevin, that's just how some players are. It all averages out in the end. Hopefully, White can find a bit more consistency. That free throw, no good. And with Kobe White, you, you hate to see him settle. He, he's best when going at the rim. The defense wins if he takes that mid-range jumper. Jay Crowder's checked in for Johnson. And the Bulls making a change here as well. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for Levine. Now, Craig. Five to shoot. Oh, Aiton in position. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. And the vision of Paul is just extraordinary. An expert at finding passing lanes off the screen. And Greg with Kobe White. He's a solid shooter, but teams have keyed in on him. I just want to see him more in attack mode. He's a solid finisher when he gets in there. And it could take his game to the next level. Back to Vucevic. Shoots over Shamit. And with that shot, the Suns lead is cut down to 11 on the bucket from Vucevic. Certainly, Nikola can hit threes, but come on. He's a seven-footer with touch. Those inside shots, they work too. Ayton dishes to Paul. In the corner, Shamit with it. Off target from three-point range. Bulls trail by 11. There's the pass to White. Pass to Caruso. He kicks to Vucevic. Out left to the wing. Not three off the mark. Phoenix leading by 11. Here's Shamit. There's the drive. Ayton trying to break free. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Pass to Vucevic. It's White on the wing. Outside DeRozan. Shoots over Shamit on the money with the open jumper. And just so hard to stop DeRozan from making his way inside and generating points. Paul outside to the middle. Here's Craig. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. And the Suns lead by 13. Outside White. Three-pointer. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Phoenix has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. There's Shamit, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Yeah, just couldn't hang on to it. it didn't look ready to receive it. At, at least they've got some room for error, but still a poor possession there. Mikael Bridges checked in for the Suns. Devin Booker comes in for Landry Shamit. 
Here's Caruso, defended by Paul. Here's DeRozan. And again, no good by Chicago. Phoenix leading by 13. Looking to end his cold spell. No good from Booker. He hasn't been able to find any kind of groove this quarter. I mean, it seems like he's been running on fumes since halftime. White the pass to DeRozan. Over Bridges. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. DeRozan's got six points in the quarter. Booker outside. Crowder from outside. Hits it from three-point range. And certainly, they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Caruso, the pass to DeRozan. And there's the drive. And finished off by DeRozan. Watch out now. When DeRozan is moving like this towards the hoop, you're in for a show. Pass to Booker. There's the three. Another three for Phoenix. Three pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Caruso kicks to DeRozan. Down low. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Caruso's got his first points of the game. And we've witnessed DeRozan improve big time as a playmaker. His court awareness is really at an elite level. That's size winning out. I mean, he needed every single inch to haul in that rebound. Knocked away. Misses in close. Suns leading by 13. Bridges outside. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Oh, yeah, and that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with the comfortable lead. Lonzo Ball is checked in for Alex Caruso. And that one falls for Bridges. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for Chicago. It's a 16-point game. Second chance shot. Bridges with some nice defense. For Phoenix, they've gotten exactly two-thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth. Eight of 12. That one drops for him. Bulls trail by 18. Ball, the pass to DeRozan. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And that's 18 points for DeMar DeRozan. Once he turned it on, he became a force in this game. Not sure where this guy was in the first half. Booker looking around. The shot will not fall. White with the defensive effort. Chicago has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Ever evolving as a passer, DeRozan continues to impress with his ability to find his teammates. Paul against Vucevic. Takes the 13-footer, and he didn't get quite enough under that one. DeRozan against Bridges, and it's DeRozan missing. Phoenix leading by 14. Now, here's Bridges. Over Williams. Here's Ayton. Kicks it out to Paul. Count it from 12. And the Suns lead by 16. How about the great shot selection of Paul in that play? He lets the offense come natural. Chicago calls timeout. You've got to like what Devin Booker is doing in this one. He's been a thorn in their side all game. They'll probably use his timeout to change up their D. The system they're in 